Welcome back. There really is nothing new about the U.S. and Russia spying on each other. Decades of Cold War era movies and books couldn't have existed without the idea of U.S.-Soviet espionage. But what appears to be Russia's attempt to expose Democratic Party emails and sabotage Hillary Clinton's campaign would be entirely new. If proven true, it's already claimed one victim, former Democratic Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And WikiLeaks is promising there's more to come. Well, joining me now is the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, who has been granted asylum at the Embassy of Ecuador in London. He is currently fighting extradition to Sweden because of rape charges, charges, by the way, that he denies. Mr. Assange joins me now. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Meet the Press. Uh, good morning, Chuck. First, I'll have to, unfortunately, uh, correct you for some sloppy journalism. Uh, I Go have right not ahead, been sir. charged with anything whatsoever, and I have already been previously cleared. And the UN has formally found this year uh, that I am illegally detained in this embassy uh, for the past four years. We will uh, we will correct the record and let that and let your comments there speak for themselves. Let me start with the WikiLeaks core mission uh, in the service that you have uh, wanted it to perform to speak truth to power. Are you concerned that when a f if a foreign government uses your uh, entity? that you have now seen WikiLeaks get weaponized? Uh, well, at James Clapper on Friday, uh, the head of uh, US intelligence, the DNI, said there's been a lot of hyperventilation uh, in the press uh, and that it was impossible even to ascribe motive at this stage, uh, let alone uh, who uh, it is. I'll give the exact quote. Uh, we don't know enough to ascribe motivation, regardless of who it might have been. The hyperventilation also right. comes from James Clapper. So that's where we're starting in terms of US intelligence. Now, I think it's extremely interesting, however, the Clinton campaign, in order to divert attention from proof that we published that the Sanders campaign was subverted within the DNC, not mm -hmm. simply comments within the DNC, but a chain of command issuing orders to push around without attribution, fake stories showing that Sanders supporters were violent amongst numerous other uh, matters that has been pushed out before the public and response. What does the Clinton campaign do? The Clinton campaign tries to uh, take attention away from a very serious uh, domestic allegation about mm -hmm. election interference and try and bring in foreign policy. Well, the, the easiest way, Mr. Assange, the easiest way to clear so, this up. So, con so concerning. Right. So concerning is that even to the head of the DNI, the, the, the Clinton campaign is pulling the government, pulling the state of politics along with it to create an international conflict. Well, but let me ask you this, though. This, this is out, unusual. The but, but the DNI has to come out and I understand. It. But the easiest way to clear this up, Mr. Assange, would you be able to say categorically that a foreign government did not hand you this material? The, the, the issue at hand here is the idea that a foreign government is using you as a go-between, is using WikiLeaks. This is no longer about accountability um, on public figures. This is one foreign government going after another foreign government, using you as the intermediary. That seems to be a different deal than, for instance, uh, a whistleblower handing material over to expose government authoritarianism or something like that. But what I can say categorically is that we have published proof that the election campaign of Bernie Sanders was sabotaged in a corrupt, corrupt manner by Debbie Wasserman Schultz and others within the, the others within the DNC. We can say that categorically we have published proof. Now, as to anything else, uh, we can only speculate. I do think it's a, an interesting question, of course, as to who our sources are. But as a source protection organization, uh, that many sources from across the world of many different types uh, rely on to protect uh, their identities and their right to communicate the truth to the public. And that's what we're talking about here, uh, communicating the I, truth. I totally understand that, but doesn't, I, I got to ask you though, now foreign government gets involved. There is a difference there. When a foreign government gets involved, you just said yourself, well, that's an interesting question. Transparency um, on, on WikiLeaks, why not be fully transparent and say, look, here's the material. Where it comes from, doesn't change the facts in the material. But it is helpful to know that if, if a foreign government is involved, isn't that crucial information to, the, to, to civilians? I think that is an interesting question. Uh, the, 
difficulty that WikiLeaks has, of course, is that we can't, you know, go around speculating uh, on who our sources are. That would be irresponsible. Well, no, you can't speculate. You know the answer. Well, Mr. As, Assange, you, Mr. Assange, you say you can't go around speculating. Do you not know the answer? We don't give any material away as to who our sources are. It's a, you know, it's a security matter for us as to who our sources are. We have a perfect uh, track record over 10 okay, years. Okay, but let me ask you this. Do Always you accept... accurate information All right. on the one hand, uh, and on the other hand, of never revealing our source. All right, let me ask you this. Do you, without revealing your source on this, do you accept information and leaked documents from foreign governments? Well, our publishing model means uh, that what we publish is guaranteed uh, to be true. Uh, that's what we're concerned about. That's what our readers are concerned about. That's the right of the general public uh, to not... But isn't uh, the right of the public to know the motive this, to also know the motive of the leaker? Very serious true information, uh, which is producing great investigative journalism uh, in the United States uh, and is continuing to do so as each day uh, passes by. So I think that the real question is, uh, what is the legitimacy, legitimacy now and what is the accountability of what has occurred uh, within the uh, democratic uh, campaign where we have clear proof of sabotage. It's already uh, seen one head uh, resign. Our sources uh, within the DNC uh, say that they believe more heads are going right. to roll. Uh, but what about the election? What's the redress for the people that have effectively, uh, one can argue, uh, have had uh, a candidate stolen through, from them uh, as a result of corrupt practices within the DNC. Are you hoping these leaks elect Donald Trump president? It does. I mean, it's irrelevant. Uh, that's not why we publish. WikiLeaks, let's, let's take a step back. WikiLeaks was founded 10 years ago. Uh, we have a 100% track record for accuracy on the material we've published. We have published 11 million publications, including uh, 650,000 that are about Russia, mostly mm -hmm. critical, more than 2 million uh, about the uh, government of Syria, including Bashar al-Assad's uh, personal emails. Uh, we don't uh, have a, any concern as to whether Hillary is elected or Trump is elected. Uh, we're concerned that the material we publish is always accurate on the one hand uh, and that our sources are protected on the other. And you are not troubled by the idea that a foreign government is handing you this information. Does that not trouble you at all if a foreign government is trying to meddle in the affairs of another foreign government? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting speculative question uh, that's for the press uh, and others to But does that not, that doesn't bother you? That is not part of the WikiLeaks uh, Well, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a meta, it's a meta story. If you're asking, would we accept information from U.S. intelligence uh, that we had verified uh, to be uh, completely accurate, uh, and would we publish that? And would we protect our sources in U.S. intelligence? Uh, the, an the answer is yes, of course we You used to have a TV show on uh, a, a media company called Russia Today, RT. It is a company that is run by the Russian government. They still promote your television show. I know you haven't done an episode in, in four years. Do you have any other financial arrangement with the Russian government beyond RT? <laughs> Well, okay. No, there's no financial arrangement. There's no one in this organization <coughs> uh, that is Russian or can even speak Russian. <coughs> uh, the TV show you're talking about, The World Tomorrow, worldtomorrow.wikileaks.org, mm -hmm. uh, is a wholly independently produced TV show here in London with Dartmouth Films, a well-regarded London uh, production company. We sold licenses to 12 broadcasters and newspapers around the world, including uh, Russia Today. And that's uh, the extent of the cooperation. They bought the license and they aggressively promoted it. And people in the uh, Hillary Clinton camp have tried to seize on the one broadcast that bought a license from us in 2012 uh, to uh, suggest that there's some kind of connection, and right. that is false. Are you uh, going to time? Are you timing your leaks? I know you have another. So there's a lot of speculation that you have more information um, from what was taken from the DNC. Are you timing your leaks for maximum impact on the Clinton campaign? We're timing our leaks to make sure that, A, that they're verified, that we keep our 100% track record, B, that they're formatted, indexed, uh, and in a position where investigative journalists can use them, where the public can use them, mm -hmm. uh, where lawyers can use them as pristine 
uh, documents where prosecutors can use them. We have a great track record of contributing to hundreds of legal cases right. uh, and prosecutions, let alone uh, what happens in terms of political accountability. Uh, that's how we choose our timing. As soon as we're done, as soon as we're ready, as soon as we're confident uh, in our material and as, uh, when there's a position where we know that the public is, is interested, uh, that's right. when we release. Former supporters or current supporters of what you, of your mission are concerned that you have been, that you release too much information, that you, you allow civilians who are not part of, part of this, you allow too much of their private information out. There was a release of information, for instance, on Turkish citizens that was about the government, but it ended up releasing a whole bunch of personal information on, uh, on millions of women in Turkey, for instance. Uh, are you going to reconsider your, uh, uh, your protocols and redact information that would just harm civilians unfairly? Uh, that, I'm glad you brought up that Turkish case because it is simply false. We did not publish any such information at any time uh, in any manner whatsoever. It's simply a false story. Uh, it has been uh, promoted uh, by the Clinton campaign uh, in order to distract uh, from the revelation of corruption uh, within uh, the DNC. Okay. Um, Mr. Assange, I'm going to leave it there. I appreciate your time uh, and you coming on Meet the Press this morning. Thank you, Chuck. You got it. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.